What's up, everybody? Kelp here, and so many exciting things happening for Sork in season five. I was so pumped about Fireball. I had to put together a video that I think this is going to be like the end game Fireball Meteor build. I think Fireball could be great on its own, but I wanted to incorporate this one with some Meteor. And this is something I'm going to be collecting the gear for while I'm leveling, while I'm farming. I might have a stash tab just for this build because I really, really want this build. I want to make this build and I think it's going to be something special. So this is what we're looking at on the screen. So we have the buffs that already happened. So you can see in red that Fireball got about 60 to 66 percent damage increase and that's on top of what the damage increase was just for overall sork so 15 to 20 percent overall damage to sork and then meteor was increased from 80 to 96 so that's on top of also the the damage that was just given to flat sork and then also our intelligence gives more damage so we are getting lots of damage for the sork this build Oh my gosh, it is pretty much all uniques in this build. There's three items that aren't unique, so it's going to take a while to get the right GAs, the right abilities, the right ones that we want. But we're going to put this together for sure in Season 5, so make sure you subscribe to Kelp so you can see when we get this all put together, and we're going to be making some videos about it, definitely. All right, so this is what I got so far. So I got the Starfall. If you were to get GA, you'd want... Oh my gosh, you want GA on all of them, but cooldown reduction, would be really good to get the the ga on and then ranks to meteor would be the best those would be the two best but meteor size is good too uh, this helm is so much better now and then casting the meteor drops three additional meteors on the ground and then the enchantment drops one so raiment of the infinite is really good because you could you could save a point in elemental attunement it has glass cannon for damage shocking impact in this build won't be that big of a deal but I don't think that we'll need the extra armor, so I think this is fine. You can substitute it for something with like key hit or something like that if you want to have, or if you want to go more tanky, you could substitute this for something that has damage reduction. So something that you could do. I'm gonna try it out with Raymond because I really like the the Raymond uh, ability with Meteor when you, you pull them all together and then you Meteor and then you throw some fireballs at them. It's just gonna be too good. <laughs> all right, so let me take this down. I had this up there. I, all right, we're good. All right, so then we got Gloves and Illuminator. This changed a few things, changed on this. It is 30 to 0%. We asked for 0%. They gave us 0%. Got ranked Fireball. Mana when it explodes as well. That is absolutely fantastic. Critical Strike Chance and the Fireball attack speed was buffed. So that is also amazing. On the on the pants, we are just going to do Armor Intelligence and Max Life just to increase our base armor to max and then get more life and then intelligence is always going to be good uh, especially because intelligence does more damage now than last season crippling flames and lucky hit chance to heal fireball and meteor are so high on the lucky hit 33 percent and 40 percent so they're very 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 high which is great so these new boots they're gonna be hard to get too i'm not sure where they drop i think they might drop in the new game mode of the wave farming whatever it's called the infernal hordes so that, that should drop in there, uh, but it does have cooldown reduction. And then also when you cast the cooldown, and this pairs up really nice with Starfall because you get two more cooldowns. And then we're going to have four more cooldowns on the bar. So we're going to have six cooldowns to cast fire damage, which our fire damage is already going to be buffed because you're going to see the Staff of Endless Rage. It has fire damage on it, and you're going to be going in the Paragon Tree, and you're going to get a bunch of fire damage. So this might really be pumping. Hopefully it pumps like X-Falls or something like that. That would be absolutely fantastic. I did not get a chance to try it out in the PTR, but hopefully it's great. And then this was super buffed it's like 51 percent fireball speed so your fireballs are going to be insane casting speed and you don't need regular attack speed really too much in this build because you're, you're just casting cooldowns so you're already going to be extremely high in attack speed because you're also going to use aspect of the ancient flame which we'll talk about in a second but fire damage is on this ranks of fireball on this right now with this build you're going to have over 20 ranks of fireball if you were doing it by itself and you did a, a shaco you could probably get close to 30 ranks of fireball with this build but uh we want to try it out the the meteor because we think it's gonna be pretty good 
All right, so then on the on the amulet, we're gonna have uh, critical strikes of meteor and fireball increased by. Well, this will be sixty percent doubled, so one hundred and twenty percent when targets are healthy. Ranks conjure mastery and devouring blaze is like the dream. Uh, I never got it yet, so maybe that will happen. But you should be able to get one cooldown reduction. You should be able to get cooldown reduction with one of those. And then the other one could be just whatever your best stat is after that. The Ring of the Scarlet Skies is really, really good. So it has core skills on there too. So you're getting Fireball there, you're getting Meteor there, then you're getting core skills. Oh my gosh, it's so many skill upgrades. It's going to be so strong. It's going to be so good. We're so pumped. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, so literally you're gonna be able to teleport in, cast meter, 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 meter. You're gonna your probably your cooldown reduction to be good enough. Teleport out, cast fireball, 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 teleport in, stun everyone, cast meter, 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 teleport out, cast your fireball, 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 fireball. That's how sweet this build's gonna be. And then on top of that, you're gonna have ice blades flying around everywhere, making things vulnerable and reducing your cooldown because you're gonna have so many cooldowns from the meteor, from the teleports, from the ice arm and flame shield, lightning spear. We will play around. If we don't need the attack speed here, we will change it out for Talrashes uh, when we have it. So I, I think that that might be even better. Who knows? That might be even better. We'll see. I'm not sure, but it could be. It could be. Then we will just cut everything here. You can check out all the different stats I put on these items, like the dream stats. Hopefully they could we could get them and then we do have the skill tree So the skill tree is obviously maxing out fireball and then this works both now with your core mastery skills so this works with all of your meteors and all your fireballs so you get damage there we don't need a point element in tournament because we are using the raiment of the infinite so we save a point there just one point in a teleport uh glass cannon and then we do while ice armor is active reduce the cooldown by one second because we are spending a lot of mana with fireball uh, we are going to have conjure mastery and hopefully that's ranked up pretty high with the with the necklace ranks so we do want that we want ice blades we want lucky hit we want all the shields we could get Look at the damage reduction more 30 percent damage reduction all the all the damage reduction is fantastic they want to max out meteor and go into mega meteors for faster falls this just feels way better and then uh all these other abilities as well this is just for the fire stuff fire stuff and then asus ferocity is going to be really good in this build so that's that's the that's the skill tree that we are yoked about excited about pumped about ready to go scream and shout let's go all right so obviously it's gonna be the links get into the description i'm just gonna show you which rare nodes i'm using and glyphs so we got the glyphs here this tactician it's gonna look a little different here in a second but this elementalist which we might switch out but we're gonna leave it in there for now with the lightning spear and then this one's the long one so this is the searing heat. I, I, I used to do this backwards, but I was doing some math and it makes more sense to do it this way. So you actually put your your glyph up here and you, you run down and get this first because fire fire damage is right here and you want as much fire damage. Fire damage is also right here. And then you have to put pyromaniac in here because it does increase the fire damage of all these. So this gives you a lot more fire damage. So 75% more. So you get 17.5. You get... 7.5 so or actually higher than that 8.5 so you get a lot more fire damage and then i don't go up here yet i went up here last that's like paragon 7 then i went to the burning instinct board and the burning instinct board actually gives you a lot of intelligence i'd never put chainer here this is something new i've tried out and it actually worked really well so chainer here oh i just noticed see that you look at it twice three times four times and then on the fifth time you're like i just noticed i have an extra paragon point so we have an extra prayer one point. We'll put that into fire damage. Nice. We could save that change. <laughs> so you guys will see that. And then after that, we went into the flame feeder with frigid fate. So you can see all we need to do is get uh, 29. We're doing a lot of burning damage now with the meteors falling on the on the ground doing burning damage, which is sweet. And then uh, then we went back up here to get destruction and we got to max that out and then our final glyph is exploit so a little bit of a crazy way to do this skill tree i don't think i've made one that looks like this this actually looks pretty cool but something different something i think is going to be you know what you're going to mess we're going to play around with it and eventually that take some points out I think I did. Eventually, we'll perfect it. But this is like a base endgame starter. 
how I'm going to put together a fireball build. I think it's going to be really nice. I'm really excited about it. Holy smokes, man. They're going to pump. We're going to pump with this build, man. This is going to be so sick. They're giving us everything. Everything we want, man. All right, let's save that. So we got all the glyphs working, up to seven of them. Skill tree is good. The gear is good. The only thing I said, like, I might switch out is Talrashes, but then that's so many uniques. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really seven because of staff. Oh my gosh. You can make this an all unique build, maybe. With, with Actually, if you use this, what is that unique with the neck piece that does the crit? What is the new one? This. Crit strike damage, all resistance, which we don't really need. We don't really need that because we're going to have high crit chance. But still, you could do it. You could use an all unique build if you just switch that, that. The only thing is you miss out on armor, so you might need just pants. You just need pants because you need the armor. But Fireball Sork is going to be something special. Super excited about it. Can't wait to show you guys what it's going to be like in game. So but Fireball, Meteor, Sork. Fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you on the stream Tuesday. Make sure you're watching Tuesday. We're going live on Tuesday, right when the season five launches.